Hello everyone, welcome back to MathMoon. Today we have an interesting exponential equation, x to the power x equal to 27. How can you solve it? I'm going to suggest you a really good method how to solve it, because the other method is using log, it's simplifying this step by step, but I want to suggest you a really good method how to solve it. Take a look, if we create this one, this equation, as x to the power x equal to a to the power a, so on the left we have same base, same exponent. And if we create on the right same base and same exponent, we can easily write that our x equal to a, because there is no other way that this equation works. So x equal to a, so the base equal to this base and exponent equal to this exponent, but we need to have same base and same exponent right here and same base and same exponent right here. So take a look, let's simplify this 27 just to create this this way. Take a look, we have x to the power x, and how can we write this 27 that we have same base and same exponent? If it's possible, of course, if it's not, we need to find another way to solve it. Take a look, this 27 is 3 cube. 3 times 3 times 3, we will have our 27. And take a look, this is our case. We have same base, same exponent, and same base, same exponent as well. So as a result, we can write that our x equal to a, and from here our x equal to 3 and this x equal to 3, and the main x equal to 3, x equal to 3, and this will be our solution to this. Of course, this is not like general method to solve it, because if we have, for example, 30, there is no way to, to solve it like that, but we can easily prove that this will be one and only solution, because x to the power x, if you're talking about graph methods, x to the power x looks like that, and we'll have a constant on the right. We'll have 27, so this is look like a constant. So as a result, we'll have one and only solution, and right here will be our will be our three. Of course, this is not like general method, but in our case, this method works. Of course, if you have another number that is good to create this logic, so we'll have four to the power four will be equal to 64, 256, I guess. And of course, you can easily write this. You will have, for example, x to the power x equal to 4. You can easily write that x to the power x equal to 2 to the power 2, 2 square, and from here x equal to 2. You can easily work with fourths, fifths, and... but it's not general method. But in our case works. So, thank you so much for watching, subscribing, putting thumbs up, I really appreciate it, and see you in the next videos.